Lego Harry Potter is that blend of the, the wonderful sort of creativity that, that Lego brings with the wonderful storytelling. The characters are very important. Harry Potter is such a rich universe of characters. We have Harry, Hermione, Ron, Hagrid, Professor Snape, Quirrell, McGonagall, Dumbledore eventually when you've unlocked him. The thing I love about this game is Fang because he's been animated in such a charming way. He can climb ladders, he digs, he whimpers. He's, he's like a real dog. You don't often get to play as a dog in a game, especially not a Lego dog. One of the things that everyone on the team most enjoys is seeing how individual characters can be given their personality in Lego form. Harry's pretty skillful. Harry can whiz around on the brooms. He's able to fire bolts. With Ron, he's not quite so good on brooms. He's not quite so fast. When he's rising up, he gives it a bit of a kickstart, trying to sort of like push himself along. And Hermione, it's the one thing she isn't actually very good at. You can't actually really do anything very, very well as Hermione on a broom. The whole idea being that we're encouraging the player to, to, to use Harry. We might have some puzzles where you'd need Hermione's abilities and Harry's abilities. So you might have Hermione use her book access to be able to decipher some symbols, something that Harry wouldn't be able to do. When they're playing the game, they are Harry Potter, they are in Hogwarts, they are learning skills, abilities, interacting with all these great characters from J.K. Rowling's universe. It's so fun to be able to work on something that can become anything you can imagine, where we get the world's favourite characters and stories through our door every day. We're incredibly lucky.